I know how much this means for people in Israel who have endured the worst terrorist attack in generations. I am proud to be here today with so many of you. Our presence here outside the European Parliament is significant. Our gathering held in the Simon Veil Agora is symbolic. Our voice is important and our strong stand against terrorism is crucial. October 7th is a day that will go down in global infamy. The world has witnessed Jews being murdered simply because they were Jewish, again, in Israel. We are here with the President of the European Council, the President of the European Commission, and all of you as one to express our solidarity, to condemn the appalling acts of terror and murder, and to demand the immediate release of hostages. Europe stands ready to help broker resolutions. But I've said it before and it bears repeating, there is no justification for terrorism. Hamas is a terrorist organization. They do not represent the legitimate aspirations of the Palestinian people. They do not offer solutions. They offer bloodshed. It helps to speak plainly. On October 7th, Hamas murdered more than a thousand innocent babies, children, women and men, and still holds close to 100 more hostage. They opened fire on hundreds of young people at a music event, killing indiscriminately, including EU nationals. They abducted young girls and boys. They took elderly Holocaust survivors and dragged them out of their homes. They paraded dead people through the street like trophies. This is not a time for whataboutism. We have to be clear about what we are talking about. This is terror in its worst form. Ambassador Regev, thank you for being here today. This is Europe and we stand with you.